Hey guys, welcome back to another story time with Lewis here at Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Today we're going to be reading the book, How Do You Hug a Porcupine? Written by Lori Isop and illustrated by Gwyn Millward. Can you hug a horse? Of course. A cow with arms around her neck, that's how. A dog or cat is not so hard. Just hug them in your own backyard. Hugging bunnies is just divine. But how do you hug a porcupine? Can you hug some billy goats? Entice them with a bag of oats. And surely you can hug a pig. Just spread your arms out, extra pig. With baby chicks, be sweet, be kind. But how do you hug a porcupine? This prickly fellow won't be easy. My stomach's feeling kind of queasy. He wears a coat of thorny quills. To hug this one will take some skills. A hedgehog is a little prickly. An ostrich is a little tickly. A chimpanzee will hug you back. I've never tried to hug a yak. A giraffe requires quite a climb. But how do you hug a porcupine? An elephant, please hug his trunk. I wouldn't want to hug a skunk. A kangaroo, just hop this way. Don't let the dolphins slip away. A panda probably wouldn't mind, but how do you hug a porcupine? You must go slowly, never hurry. Porcupines aren't soft and furry. His quills defend him from his foes, but I'm his friend, he surely knows. At last, hooray, it's finally time. This is how you hug a porcupine. Carefully. The end. Let us pray. God, thank you for all you do for us. Continue to, to care and love our community. Be with us as we continue to learn more and more about you during this time. Thank you for our teachers, our family, our friends, and all those who are with us here and in other places. God, continue to be in our journey of faith, in our journey of academics, and let us have a good rest of the week. In God's name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.